Hen last we saw Stefan, Bill Hader's endlessly amusing weekend update city correspondent four years ago, he was looking askance at then new update correspondents Colin Jost and Michael Che, though that didn't stop him from revealing more secrets of New York's hottest clubs. Including one where the vibe is strange, yet familiar, like when you see signs for Seinfeld in a Puerto Rican neighborhood. There was no question that Stefan would return again on Saturday. When Hader stopped by his old stomping grounds for another turn as host, and his latest appearance did not disappoint. In fact, you know what? Let's cut the pretense and just give the people what they want, a transcript including all that a new club's haters Stefan introduced to us while ostensibly recommending Street, Patrick's Day Entertainment, in between dunking on Jost and Che, mistakenly calling them Connor and Percy, then Moonlight and La La Land, guess who is who? and spilling more information about his intimate relationship with his husband, Seth Meyers. The kicker? Seth and I are versatile. Some nights, I do it and he's under the desk, shortly after the anticipatory applause and cheers that welcomed Stefan before he even appeared on camera. Hader got down to business with his first recommendation, if you're drunk and mid out doing cheap coke off your laundry card, I have just the place for you, New York's hottest club is Dutch. Inspired by true events, this former CVS, which became a Chase Bank and then became a CVS again has a familiar yet troubling feel, like when Larry King would play himself in a movie. This place has everything, desk sets, key fobs, kale chips, Roman J. Israel, Esquire. Plus, you can play everyone's favorite party game, The Stranger. Do you know that Billy Joel song The Stranger? Well, it's when you sit on Billy Joel's hand until it's numb, and then you rub yourself with it, so you can pretend it's Bruce Springsteen's hand. If you're Irish, or just white and violent, I have the St. Paddy's place for you. New York's hottest Irish club is off to church, Mother. Located in the clogged heart of the Bronx at the corner of 3000th Street and Gary Marshall Memorial Drive. This gang-ridden skateboard park was the ceremony spot for Vern Troyer's 2004 wedding. This place has everything, peeps, dead tops, Roman J. Israel Esquire, and be sure to hit the dance floor and do a jig with Ireland's hottest fair cons. Leprechauns who look like fair if faucet. But also, yes, Minister Fay Rockin will be there. And finally, there was his last recommendation, which came complete with a special request for Colin, please. Call me by your name and a delightful cameo from Hader's longtime Stefan collaborator John Mullaney, who famously loved to mess with Hader by changing the lines on Stefan's cue cards at the last minute. If you're ordinary and you love seizure inducing Malaysian music, I have just the place for you. New York's hottest club is stand clear of the closing doors, please. Built in the upside down world. This haunted hospice was closed when inspectors found a sexy form of asbestos that could cause disease, mesohornioma. This place has everything, young popes, old popes, Roman J. Israel, Esquire. Avoid the dance floor on Wednesdays, when a dozen hot dachshunds and corgis getting free, they call it long and low night. I don't trust any dog whose stomach touches the ground. Plus. You can party in the VIP room with a group of human squatty potties. It's that thing of, you know what, it's new era, and I don't want to say a word that could be insensitive. Could I consult my lawyer quickly? He's an attorney and a conceptual piss artist named Shy. At this point, Mulaney entered, wearing an absolutely ridiculous shirt layered over an even more ridiculous mesh tee, and whispered to Hater for a moment, making his colleague break into laughter before skittering off again, then Hader returned to tell his last Stefan punchline, until the next time he hosts the show, 